Have you ever done that? Where you take a rubber band and you stretch it and you put it against your lips or your forehead where your skin is especially sensitive to temperature and you notice that when you stretch out a rubber band it heats up and when you contract the rubber band or let it, let it contract on it under its own power it cools down. Now why is that? It turns out it's related to the conformational entropy of the polymer molecules in the rubber band. So um, for example, uh, in its purely extended state, a polymer is in a low entropy uh, state because when it's stretched out, it has many fewer configurations, or sorry, conformations, as many fewer conformations as it does when it's balled up when the angles between the bonds could be many more, uh, many more things. So high temperature, you have a, a wider and lazier uh, distribution of populated conformations than you do at low temperature when the all uh, extended conformations, which are thermodynamically favorable, tend to dominate. So um, to do this experiment, all you need is a rubber band and stretch it out, feel like it hot, let it contract quickly, and you could feel like it cold. So you can think about it in terms of um, of the, uh, the change in heat required to go from an extended state to a, to a coiled, uh, balled up state. So if you imagine a sample of rubber going from, uh, from a contracted state to a stretched out state, and remember when you stretch something out, you also make it thinner by a fraction called the Poisson ratio. So imagine we have some polymer molecules that are just globules in here. And in the stretch state, we've reduced the entropic degrees of freedom. We've reduced the number of statistical uh, uh, states available to these polymer chains by, by contracting them. So we know that in order to, uh, to get from this state to this state, by the argument of statistical, uh, statistical arguments, to populate these states, we need to add uh, heat. So this is, um, uh, so, so, so we, we, have to, we have to add heat to get here. So it's endothermic going from here to here, and it's exothermic, we need to subtract heat to go from the, uh, from the coiled state to the extended state, or from the compressed state to the stretched state. So if we take something, if we take this formality, just take these balled up polymer chains and go from the balled up polymer chains to the extended polymer chains, and we, we're using, uh, we're, we're, um, we see that, that heat, negative heat, so heat comes out heat comes out, that's the heat that we're feeling. So we go this direction, we have minus heat, the heat goes out and it goes into our skin. Similarly, um, without, and, and the converse is also true. So you take this and, you, uh, and you, uh, you, you compress it, you take heat from the environment that goes into the polymer, so into the rubber band, heat just from the environment goes into the rubber band and it feels cold, heat is going in that's what makes it feel cold because heat is going in to affect this uh, conformational uh, change. You can also do this experiment um, at home using, uh, using heat or, or a cold bath. So actually, if you suspend a weight on this rubber band and you put it in a glass of ice water, um, uh, it will actually, uh, it will actually uh, expand. Now that's unusual for most solids, but not unusual for rubber. So for most solids, what you have when you increase the temperature is you have the atoms get farther and farther uh, apart and uh, just based, based on the fact that they're moving around at a higher temperature, higher average kinetic energy in the atoms, and therefore the material expands. However, in the case of a sample of rubber, as you increase the temperature, you're increasing, because they're long uh, extended, uh, they're, they're long molecules, 
as you increase the temperature, you're increasing the, the uh, distribution, you're increasing the, 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 uh, the distribution of molecules in different uh, states. And the more states you have available, statistically, the more of them are going to be balled up as opposed to extended. So as you heat up the system, you populate more and more and more and more states that might not be thermodynamically favorable, but you can access them because there's more energy in the system. Statistically, those tend to be the ones that are more balled up. So therefore, if you heat up a rubber band, it contracts. And if you stretch it out, um, or if you, and if you cool it down, it stretches out. And it's the exact uh, same phenomena that happens if you impose mechanical uh, work um, uh, on, the, uh, on, on the system, or mechanical energy uh, that's, uh, that's stored by the entropic springs of which the rubber band is made. All right, thanks.